When something works exactly how you want it to and does everything you need it to, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You just make improvements to make it even better. I'm Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach inside the 2023 Outlaw 38 KB and this is spectacular. It does everything you need it to. It has a garage. And yes, you can load up the garage and we will get to the garage as we work through the tour. What I want to do first for you is open up this outlaw. You can see even with the slide in, you still have plenty of room to access the kitchen, which is fully loaded. Want to get into the fridge? You can. Want to use the bathroom? You most certainly can. And then you get into the bedroom. Now this is a tilt of view king bed and the bed will not go all the way down into a sleeping position with the slide in. What you need to do is open this outlaw up. So what do you say we do that using Rapid Camp Plus? You can do that using your phone or you can use the main panel here. What I'm going to do in the essence of saving a little bit of time, I'm going to put out the slide using the remote while walking through the panel here. Let's start with our driver side slide. All you have to do is hit extend. Now, when you put your wall out, make sure that your outlaw is on and the parking brake is set and your jacks are down. One touch leveling jacks on this. All right, the wall is going out as it does. Starting on the home screen, you can turn all of your lights on or off right from here. You can open and close the rear shade from here check your tank levels, turn on your water pump. You can check the volts in your house battery, your chassis battery, a quick look at your thermostat, and you can even stop and start the generator from here. How about your auto gen start? It has it. This is a 5,500 watt generator and solar power. Let's go ahead and put this bed slide out while we continue our Rapid Camp Plus tour. Go power solar, yes, 100 watts of solar charging come standard. You can take and look at everything related to your solar setup right from here or from the phone. As we go back home, we've covered everything on the home screen, so we're going to go down to the lightning bolt. This is where you get really detailed about your auto gen start. You can set your triggers. Do you want low volts? Do you want HVAC? What's the quiet time? What voltage do you want it to start at? How long do you want it to run? How many times do you want it to try? When do you want it to stop? All of that can be set right from here. Next button down, the light bulb. All the lights in your motorhome, inside and out, controlled from this panel. Next one down is your thermostat. You have two 13,500 BTU air conditioners up front. You control those from here. You have cool, you have a furnace, you have auto. What's great about the auto mode is when you get into a climate such as we live in, in northern Indiana, you're going to get some mornings that are really, really cool. And then in the afternoon, it gets rather hot. You set it to auto, the furnace will kick on when it needs to, and then your AC will kick on when it needs to. And as we're talking about your air conditioning, as you're setting that, make sure you are never setting the thermostat more than 10 to 15 degrees below the ambient temperature. Keep that in mind as you're setting the perfect climate for your outlaw. Next button down controls the fans in your kitchen, the bath, and in the rear. And then we go to our slide button. We were just there. This screen has a lot of options on it because you have an awning in the front, you have an awning in the rear, you have an awning out back, and we will put those out as we take you on our exterior tour. And then you have your bed slide and your driver's side slides that we just put out. Last button down is how you connect your phone as I just used to the device. What's nice is this is Vega Touch Eclipse. We've improved some of the tech for 2023. What this allows you to do is control every feature and function with Rapid Camp Plus anywhere in the United States, in Canada, or Mexico without being physically in your coach. So if you are out on an excursion and you know it's getting hot, all you have to do is pull up your Eclipse and you can go ahead and adjust your AC. Or if you're out late at night, later than you thought you would be and you wanted to turn on the lights, you can do that from anywhere you happen to be adventuring. And then through here, you control the screen brightness and cleaning mode, set your clock, 
uh, switch panel info because there are remote panels in here as well. And this will tell you the strength and if the battery in those need to be replaced. That is Rapid Camp Plus. Down below here, while we're at this wall, let's just talk about this. This is your 18 100 watt inverter that is going to take the 12 volt power when you turn on your battery disconnect switch which is what you're going to want to do as you start your trip turn on your battery disconnect switch now you're going to have power to all of your 12 volt systems we'll talk about your house batteries we'll show you where those are located when we go outside and then you turn on your inverter and it is going to take that 12 volt power it is going to power certain outlets in your outlaw including the one under the flip out dash workstation which is a great feature to have we'll talk about when we take our tour and discuss heating options which is exactly what we are going to do right now that we have our outlaw opened and ready to rock and roll one other item i want to point out because the outlaw always has the coolest names for our interiors. These are new interiors for 2023. What we're in right now, what you see, this is called Vapor Blue with a regatta wood. So this is Vapor Blue with regatta wood. The other interior is called Black Talon, and that is seen here with the Sanibel wood. I love the way we name our interiors and our exteriors. The design team does a knockout job they did the same thing with the exterior paint colors, all new. These are like the names of rock bands. So if you're looking for a name of a rock band, just take any of these. Just take any of these names for the interior and exterior, and I think you will be set up for absolute success. This is our dream dinette. I love starting at the dinette for a number of reasons. One, it is one of the most versatile seating options you have in your outlaw. Now this is 72 inches across. You can easily fit the entire family here. You have cup holders for the ride. You have storage down below on each side. And this makes into a fantastic sleeping area. There's a handle underneath. All you do is you take and move the handle. You're gonna to wanna to obviously clear off the plates and the dishes and the plants. Then you push down, you move your cushions over. You have a bed. In the morning, raise her up, lock her into place. You are back in dinette mode. How about we move over to our sofa? Take a look at the sofa. Let's move our pillows, the lovely pillows that you see here in vapor blue. All right, because we're gonna make this into a bed. Yeah, this makes into a bed. This is a 66 inch sofa. So you can sit here, you can relax, you can watch TV because you do have all kinds of entertainment in your outlaw. Let's talk entertainment. TV here, TV in the bedroom, TV in the garage, TV outside. Like streaming shows, you can stream a show. Like Blu-ray players, you got one. You can do whatever you need to do, especially if you're out tailgating. This is a great tailgate machine, right? We'll talk about the options, especially for that toolbox in the garage when we set up camp, all right? So let's say you're out and you're tailgating and you want to watch a game in here and then maybe you want another one outside and you want one in the garage why don't you connect to the wine guard connect 2.0 4g hotspot and wi-fi extender standard on every outlaw you can create your own 4g hotspot you can use it as a wi-fi extender you can use any provider your current cell phone provider buy a data plan insert the sim card get a data plan through wine guard whatever suits you best Go ahead, pick up that option, and now you have turned your motorhome into a 4G hotspot. You can also connect a streaming device because of the HDMI distribution box, maybe a gaming console, so all your entertainment needs are taken care of, and you're going to be worn out. You are going to be worn out by the end of the day, right? Because tailgating takes it out of you. We talked about turning this into a sofa just like this, right? So now you have another place to sleep right here, but we're not done setting up sleeping areas in our outlaw because right up in front of me we have our drop down overhead bunk 500 pounds of capacity in here now that's a 52 by 74 inch bunk the ladder for it is stored in the back it's a collapsible ladder i'm just going to get it as we're talking about seating options so the ladder stores right here and i will grab how about i grab the table leg all right easier for me to carry both of these so the ladder stores in the back connect that collapsible ladder i'm going to move this here let's just set that here for right now and then we have a table leg because we are not done talking about seating options 
The captain's chair swivel right here so you can fit people at the dinette. The couch right here. You put your pedestal table into place. Wonderful setup here, especially if you're entertaining and you're having a big tailgate party. Get everybody involved and there's going to be a place for everyone to sit and they're not going, you are not going to have to worry about cleaning up messes. Brand new color of residential vinyl flooring, part of the new interior package. It is easy to clean. Use a Swiffer, use a broom, whatever you need to do, clean up whatever happens to spill on that floor because if you are tailgating in your outlaw, something's gonna happen. It always does. And you can store whatever you need in your outlaw too. Look at all of this cabinet space. Large pass-through cabinets for some of those longer items. Right in here is where you're going to find your Blu-ray player and your HDMI distribution box. You have a lot of storage here. Working our way back into this fabulous kitchen. Solid surface countertops, solid surface sink covers, plenty of storage up here, a nice spice rack over here, Get creative with whatever you want to put in here. Maybe it's your pantry. A lot of people use it for, let's just say, tailgating beverages. You can put whatever you need in there. Storage down below, nice shelves. You have drawers over here. Remotes for all of the gadgets. Two, three drawers here. Waste basket, put all the recyclables in there and let's get whipping something up. Let's get whipping up a delicious, a delicious favorite with this cooktop. One burner electric induction cooktop with two gas burners. So you have the best of both worlds, electric and gas, and your baking can be done right here in this convection microwave. If you wanna take and use it as a microwave, use one of the shortcut keys. Hit your popcorn, easy. Wanna convect, hit the convection button, now you use it exactly like an oven because it swirls around that hot air. You can use it as an air fryer too. So a lot of great options here in the kitchen. Just as I'm looking at it, I don't want to pass up seating options and entertaining for the littlest members of your traveling family. Integrated child safety seat tether. So if you travel with little ones and get them started early, right? So they grow up with the love of travel and exploring, you can connect their seat right here and know they are riding in outlaw style. The other thing I wanna point out as I walk back, you'll notice the headroom just increases. It's not an optical illusion. We start, you ready? We start up here at the shortest. So this is six foot six, so that's gonna be 80 inches all the way back here, eight feet, that's 97 inches. So you will not run out of headroom. And what's really nice as we work our way back past the residential refrigerator, which you will fill with all of your favorite snacks. Residential refrigerator, another storage bay up top and into our bathroom. So as that ceiling goes up, the height increases over the shower. So no matter how tall you are, you will not run out of room. Into the bathroom we go. Glass door on the shower, nice medicine cabinets. You have a sink, porcelain toilet, and in the shower, an oxygenic shower head. And the blue you're seeing as I open the door, it's a little blue pipe. What that is, that is the shower miser. That's another great feature for 2023, especially when you're dry camping because this outlaw is ready for you. 150 gallons of fresh water, but you don't want to take and use all of it and fill up your gray tank when you're dry camping, right? And that's what happens a lot of times when you're in the shower. You're standing there, you turn on the hot water and you wait for it to heat up. Now this does have tankless hot water. That certainly helps the process, but as you're waiting, the gray tank fills up, not with the shower miser. You turn the valve, your hot water is on, it's set to the temperature you want with the tankless hot water. As it gets hot, this blue pipe is gonna turn into a bluish, grayish, whitish color like you see here. That means the hot water is ready. You crack the valve and now you have a hot shower and you didn't fill up your gray tank with unnecessary cold water. It's a great way to save when you are out dry camping. And we'll talk about other tank capacities as we head outside. As we work our way back, here we go, into the bedroom. This is a great bedroom setup. King size, tilt-to-view bed. Comfortable, 
cozy. Tilt it up, read. Watch a little TV, you have reading lights underneath. Over on this side, it is prepped. Wash, washer dryer combo unit, you wanna put that in here. This is where you are going to do it. You have closet space here. You have cabinets up above. You have drawers down below. Behind me is the sliding glass door to the garage. We are gonna go out into the garage. It's just going to be a lot easier as we work our way around and I can show you how to open the garage from the outside and we'll set up the patio and we'll talk weight limits and all of the specs that you wanna know. I do wanna talk about another great new for 2023 option. For the drive, you're gonna love the new infotainment center. Again, just train of thought as I look at things, I like to see them. Push button lights, so you're gonna get a lot of great illumination. Speakers over here, those are controlled from the radio up front. And you have sun shades, and you have roller privacy shades. So this is a great way to either one, just block out everything, right? When you're sleeping and you do have a lot of people up here. And then you have the sun shades, which really takes and cuts down on that harsh sunlight coming through. And they keep your coach cooler when you are away out on an excursion, which is easy to get to when you are driving this outlaw. Let's hop in the driver's seat here while I have it spun around. I have it fired up because we needed it turned on when we were putting out the slide rooms. That's a V8. That is a Ford V8. That is a 7.3 liter, 335 horsepower, 468 pound-feet of torque. Put the hammer down power in your Outlaw. You have a torque shift six-speed transmission. You have a tow haul mode on here. Hill start assist, electronic stability control, so you will feel secure when you are driving your Outlaw. I want to give you a real quick spin of the dashboard. Over here on the left of the driver, Heated remote mirrors. What's nice about these mirrors, they have integrated cameras in them. When you turn your directional on left or right, whatever is in the field of view of that camera is gonna pop up right here in the infotainment center. You have your one touch leveling jacks, emergency start. What that is going to do is take and pull power from your house batteries. You can jumpstart your chassis battery in the event. Maybe you left your headlights on, something happens. Just hold that button down, turn the key, and now you have jump-started your Outlaw. Next to that, we have fog lights. We have auto headlights. Moving over to our dash. I love this feature. Not only can you turn on the directionals to get the side view camera, you can press the camera button on the right thumb pad and pull up any camera you want, be it the rear camera, the left camera, or the right camera. And this is really great when you're making a turn uh, or you just want to see before you decide to make that turn what is to the left what is to the right what is behind you you do have an 8,000 pound hitch on this so there's probably a good chance you're towing something over here the source button right in the middle you can control all the sources on your radio bluetooth volume skip tracks the thumb pad on your left scrolls through the dash menus. If you want trip meters or maintenance reminders, how much oil life you have left, the outside temp, that's all controlled here. Then down below that is cruise control and you wanna just kick back and you enjoy the ride. A few more buttons to talk about on this dash. We have dash fans, generator start. So you can start your generator from here or using Rapid Camp Plus or out at the generator itself. Cabin lights map lights, and a button for the nightshade up front when you are ready to call it a day or just to block out the bright sun as it's coming through the windshield. Also, when you're driving, it's a great, you know, lower it a couple inches and use it as a big visor just to take that harsh sunlight out of your face. Traction control button here, HVAC controls, and now the new radio. This is a fantastic setup. It is touchscreen. You can swipe through it. It is decked out with Sirius XM satellite radio, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. So whatever device you use, the Outlaw is going to accommodate you. We have the camera button here on the steering wheel. We also have the camera button right here on the touchscreen, Bluetooth phone, Bluetooth audio, a couple of different settings over here. And this is where you take and you turn on the speakers that I just showed you. Plenty of charging ports everywhere. You can charge your phone here. You can charge your phone with the ports right below the sofa there. There's uh, 
plugs over here in the flip out dash workstation. I promised I was going to talk about that. So why don't we go ahead and talk about it because it is a great place to just sit and relax and unwind. You know, if you are out on a trip and you want to post to the socials, this is a fantastic way to do it. There's a plug down below when you're driving down the road. Remember, you're connected to the WineGuard Connect, so you can take as you're driving down the road, send off a couple emails, surf the web, maybe find a different destination to go to, or maybe you're exploring a new town. Whatever you want to do, you can do it from the flip out dash workstation. There are map holders, cup holders, a lot of great storage options up here for your outlaw. And we have to talk about the outside because there is a lot of storage on the outside. What I want to do for you is put the walls back in because what it's going to do is make it a lot easier for our uh, Tom, our camera guy, to get down in and show you the bays. Now remember when you're putting the walls in, you do have to have your engine on and your parking brake set. We're going to go ahead and put in the bed slide first, bed lift, and it's going to give you a warning and it's going to say, hey, are you sure that that tilt of view bed is up? Yes. It's up. So as that wall comes in, one, just a quick little a nickel's worth of free advice uh, as, as the walls go in, in the event that something would drop on the floor, sometimes your fingers slip off the controls, whatever it is that happens, and then you start and you put the wall back in, there's nothing wrong with that, but over time, what may happen is that you'll notice that the walls may start to come in, maybe, up front's coming in a little faster than the back. That just needs to be resynced, and that's really easy to do as this wall goes in. After it comes in, I'll show you a quick tip. It's just a couple of really quick touches. All right, so that's in. So because we were retracting, start in the opposite side extend. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now your motors are synced up. And if one of the side was starting to go in a little bit further than the other, that will take care of the problem. I am going to shut our outlaw off. So we don't, I, I, I know, I hate to kill the sound of a delightful V8, but it's what we need to do. So let's go outside, walk around the exterior of the outlaw, show the new colors. I love the new colors, debate in my house. My wife loves the outside of the one we're in. There's another color I like. We'll talk about these. We'll open the garage. We'll put the patio up. We'll put the ramp down. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll meet you up front. Let's get the debate out of the way. My wife loves this. This is her favorite color on the Outlaw. It is new for 2023. It is called Electric Breeze. We have a few more to show you. The red one that you see here, this is called Aftershock. And then we have two different shades of blue. The one we have to show you, this is razor blue. This is my absolute favorite on the Outlaw. What I think is even cooler is when you can find a tow vehicle to match your Outlaw. That's pretty awesome. And yes, this can tow a Jeep. It's got an 8,000 pound hitch out back. We'll talk about the garage capacity. And you can really pack, you can pack it into this Outlaw because your occupant and cargo carrying capacity is, you ready for this? You ready? 4,017 pounds. That is a lot of goodies. And this, I haven't mentioned it yet, this Outlaw is 39 feet, 10 inches in length. So what are your, what is your favorite color hmm? of this full body Sickens paint? Leave your favorite color in the comments below. As we walk down, I just wanted to point out these are where the cameras are located in the mirrors. They're not down on the body above a fender well, where if you're driving in some muddy conditions, they won't get splashed up here. Don't forget to check the pressure on your 22 and a half inch tire. Some big boys right there. And how about storage? Oh my gosh, 141 cubic feet of storage in here. You have nice rotocast bays. The bays have their own lights. And what I love about the rotocast bays, we've talked about tailgating, right? Use these as coolers because there's a little drain plug in there. You could pack them in ice, put all your favorite beverages in there, and then drain them out. Perfect tailgating machine. We talked about running a different game on all the TVs. Here is your exterior TV. 
You have a sound bar so everybody can hear the cheers when your team scores. Now, you have to feed. You have to feed Hungry Crew. As we talked about what you have in the kitchen, you can hook up a grill outside. We'll show you where that connection is. Right here, this is your propane. That is your fresh water tank. We'll, we'll show you where to fill it. How about awnings? We need an awning, right? We need an awning on a tailgate day, right? Especially when it is a bright sunny day. Two awnings on this. You can put them out with Rapid Camp Plus. Front awning, rear awning. We will put the awning out on the patio when we get there. It's a great setup. Beautiful setup. I want to mention the now standard dual pane windows. On 2023, these windows open awning style, which is really nice. They're top hinged, so when you turn the knob inside, they'll open like this. And then you can still get a lot of nice ventilation up through there. And then you can hear the people inside cheering when their team scores. Working our way down, how about another storage bay? Okay, so another big storage bay. You have some pass-through in here. That's the drain plug I was talking about. If you're going to throw ice in here, or maybe you are off-road, you're doing adventures. You know, we have a, a buddy of mine has an outlaw he full-times in. Tows his Jeep, has some adventure bikes inside, and you just throw all the dirty, the dirty gear in there after the day of adventure biking. You can hose it off with the exterior shower. Over here, another large storage bay. A lot of storage on this. Right over here, we got some batteries. We have some breakers. These are going to be your house batteries. Your chassis battery is up under the hood. Right here, what you're seeing, this is going to be for your hydraulic jacks. In the event something isn't working, you can always manually override the jacks using that. And there are some breakers in there. I call it the, it's the B&B. &B. It's the batteries and breakers bay. Exhaust right here. This is going to be the exhaust for your furnace. If you are cold weather camping, we talked a little bit about setting your thermostat to auto. So in the morning, when the furnace kicks on, this is going to be the vent. So if you're outside, just make sure you don't touch that because it does get hot. It, it even says so. You got to listen. You got to listen to the vent right down here. This is another great little feature. You can call it a pet tie down link. So if you travel with pets, just put your dog's leash here, chain it up here, and then they're gonna stay at camp. Or if you have bikes or a golf cart or whatever else it may be, you can just lock it up to there and you know it is not going to go anywhere. We'll go into this door in a minute. That leads to the garage. Right over here, another storage bay. We're gonna skip this one for a second and go right to here because this is your exterior propane connection. We talked about grilling out. Maybe it's a griddle. You're feeding everybody at the tailgate. That is where you're going to hook up your favorite outdoor cooking utensil. And where is everybody going to sit? Okay, so we have people inside. We have people under the patio. Now we have people. Hit the button. This is what makes the outlaw the outlaw. The zero G ramp door so easy to put down this is also your ramp if you want to take and put this down to load up your adventure cycles all you have to do is take this is this little pin you move this pin and then you pull this out and you do the same for the other side and then that drops that is your ramp 3,000 pound capacity on that and then you take and you hook that back up when you are in patio position i'm going to swing around and walk inside and we'll talk about some of the features of the garage and the patio when we are in here because this garage is fully decked out. Let's open the patio. All right. So you just lock that into place on each side. And then you can go ahead and you can swing that out. And then you have a wonderful place to put chairs. Maybe you're going to down on the patio, there are a lot of people who actually will pull this up to their favorite lake and they'll do a little fishing off of here. A lot of great uses for this patio. We have a, a lot to talk about in here, including a couple of things right over here. So you have a couple of sofas in here and then you have some filler cushions. Uh, these are brand new, as you can see, they're still wrapped up. We have a couple of those that you're gonna wanna take once you put your couches down like you see in this video here. If you wanna take a rest back here, Outside or on the patio, you have this wonderful carpet. You can lay it out on the patio out here. Maybe you're going to lay it outside. Now, your patio holds 1,500 pounds. It is 7'2 by 8'4, and your garage is going to be 
eight by 10 feet, two inches. And then because you want everyone to know how cool your outlaw is, let's see if I can bring this out here, Tom. Of course I picked it up backwards, didn't I? This is going to be your mud flaps. Talk about mud flaps, my outlaws got them. Spinal Tap fans will understand that. So here you go, look at that. Nice outlaw mud flap. We're just gonna set that right there and talk about some of the other features in your garage. Over here, Bluetooth coach radio system. You want music outside? You got it right here. We talked about adventure bikes. Maybe the battery's dead. Jump start them right here. You have a remote panel. We talked about remote panels for your Rapid Cam Plus. You have a panel here. Sliding glass door. It does have a screen and it does have a shade that you can put down with Rapid Camp Plus. Television back here for another game. Toolbox, sure. Or tailgating, again, with the adult beverages. It's your outlaw, load it up however you want. We also have these great tie-down links in here. So if you are hooking something up into your garage. Uh, this holds 1,350 pounds. That is going to be the weight capacity in the garage. Screen doors, these are your patio doors. So you can close those, open, get a nice breeze through here, or when you want it dark, you just simply push the, push the panel back into place, and now it blocks out the sun, and more storage back here. I wanna talk about more storage. Right up top, you have cabinets, a large, large loft for storage. There's a ladder right up over here you can take down. All right, so you'll take and you'll unfold this ladder and then you'll hook it up here and then you can get up there and load up whatever you need. And you have your own air conditioner back here. Right up top, you have your own AC. So if you're out here hanging out, 8,000 BTU AC, loaded garage decked out for all your garage activities and we're not done yet because on the other side we have more storage and when you get to camp you want to enjoy your outlaw tom's looking at me like hey you forgot the awning i'll read you tom we've been working together long enough 20 some years uh, between tv and motorhome so we're going to get our rapid camp up we got the awnings hit extend and the back awning comes out now you have shade over your patio so really the ultimate in tailgating gear look at that perfect right and then you hit retract and it goes in rapid camp plus told you great tool so you can stand out here and put out your awning we'll let this go in what i am going to do is walk in walk around we'll walk over to the other side there's more to show you on this outlaw so much more to show you One last garage feature that will be easier to show you from this angle. Let's close this bay up. Close this bay up. Right here is a step cover. So when you're back here having a great time, you're not going to take and miss steps. So this is going to take and cover that step. So you have a complete covered garage surface. So let's walk around this patio again. It is the zero G ramp door. So once you have everything cleared off, you can literally push it up with two fingers. I know we've done many, many videos in the past demonstrating that. Let's talk about the business end of your outlaw. So this is a vent for the garage. There's a little handle in there so you can get some fresh air in there. Gas goes right here. These two are together. Okay, so this is for your auxiliary fuel pump. 28 gallons of gas. Turn it on here and it tells you right here, press once to start, press twice to stop. There's the gauge. Here's your pump right here. And don't forget to hook up your ground wire when you're doing that, okay? So an exterior gas, external gas pump. How cool is that to have? So fill up all of your toys there. Got a, another beautiful large storage bay right there. You can load that baby up. Twice the fuel fills on here, but again, 80 gallons of gas in here electric there's our transfer switch so what we're going to do is we're going to take our 50 amp shore power cord you just run it straight up through you twist that in there you lock it into place you take 
This end, you run that over to your campsite, make sure the breakers are off, plug it in, then you turn it on, now you have juice to your power. What your transfer switch is going to do is it is going, it's, it's the brains of your electric, really. It determines the source of power. Is it from your 50 amp shore power cord? Are you getting power from your generator? Once it figures that out, it will use that source of power to send to everything in your outlaw. We'll fire up that 5,500 watt generator here in just a minute. Cable at the campground, that connects here. It's just coax. We showed you where all the connections were inside and then you run this over to the campsite and now you can pull in all your favorite games. And you know what, if you're not into sports, and I'll be honest, I don't watch a lot of sports. I do like to watch, binge watch a lot of those TV shows, so maybe some people are watching the sports and other people such as myself watching something different. This bay right here, storage bay, I do want to mention that was the prop 50 amp cord. This is the brand new one, still wound up in its original packaging that comes with your Outlaw. And what's nice about having a detachable cord is you can store it in any bay you want. 1800 watt inverter, talked about that. That is right here. I love this for 2023. I love the way your wet bay is set up. Everything can be done straight from here. Water filter, exterior shower. This is how you're gonna wash off all that dirty gear. Hot, weed, hot, hot water heater bypass valve. You say that three times fast and you can just, it tells you exactly what you wanna do. Low point drain over here, your Nautilus. This is a great system here, whether you are flushing your tank, whether you are sanitizing or rising, or whether you are hooking to your city water connection. When you're connecting to your city water connection, you'll use a potable hose just like this, and you will put that in there, and now you will use all the water from the campground. Your water pump does not need to be on. When you are running off of your fresh water tank, you do need to turn your water pump on. And then over here, uh, you can just follow the chart. It's real easy. Right now it's in sanitized mode, or you're gonna fill your fresh tank from here. And if you turn the knobs this way, now you're dry camping. Now you're running off your fresh water tank. And if you run it like that, you're running off of city water and ready to winterize. It's real easy to use. You are going to need to drain the black tank, right? This pipe twist, which is super handy, the bayonet connections, you twist those on, then you run the other end over into your campsite, pull your black handle, pull your gray handle. If you want to flush your tank, you do that right there. Just like that. You've, you've done all your plumbing in your hookups. A light in every bay, you can control that from Rapid Camp Plus. Another large storage bay here, nice and tall for those large coolers. You know the coolers we're talking about, the big ones. The big ones, you can take two liter bottles and stand them straight up. Those will fit in here. Another large storage bay up above, tankless hot water on off switch and a fuse. Let's keep on rolling because there is more outlaw to show you. There it is, that's your 5,500 watt gas generator. Again, you can start it from the dash, you can start it from Rapid Camp Plus, and you can set the auto gen start through Rapid Camp Plus. Remember, there is maintenance on your generator, so make sure you are following the maintenance schedule and doing the proper oil changes at the proper intervals. Finally, another storage bay, right? Aluminum slam latch doors, how nice is that? They all have their own lock, beautiful paint schemes. Again, what's your favorite? I'm going blue. I'm going, going blue. Moving up front. Look at this. I love the way this looks. Coming down the road. You step back. It does. Looks tough, right? It's got, it's got presence. It's got presence. You have your daytime running lights, fog lights. This is it. This is the Outlaw 38 KB. It is your do everything you want to do toy hauler nothing else like it. You'll love it. Want to learn more? Easy to. Head on over to ThorMotorCoach.com. All the specs are there. You'll learn more about the other Outlaw floor plan. There are two floor plans, the MB. We showed you the KB today. My name is Steve DeVal. I appreciate you being here, and we will see you on our next tour.